This is the Russian made Ural gear up and you could have the baddest, fastest motorcycle in the world, but this is still gonna get you significantly more attention. Just to give you a brief history of this motorcycle, this is not an 80 year old motorcycle. This is an eight year old motorcycle. If you bought a brand new one today, it would look exactly the same. You see in the 40s, the Russians needed a good military motorcycle and they decided to do what they did best and copied someone else's bike, the German BMW R71. And while the BMW R bike has evolved throughout the years, the Ural has stayed exactly the same. Now the Ural is known for two things. One, it's for known for being incredibly unreliable. But for me, this bike has been very reliable in the 94 miles that I put on this thing. And I consider myself pretty lucky for that. The second thing is it's amazing off-road abilities. And part of that is because it's actually a two-wheel drive. Off the final drive system is a drive shaft that powers the cartwheel and makes this thing a very, very capable off-road machine, which we tested out on a very rainy day at the famous Reading Outdoor Park. This thing was incredibly off-road capable. It was a lot of fun. It really, it really kind of makes the bike. I mean, it was a blast and it went through places that I didn't think it could go through in pretty tough, pretty tough situations. Now, on top of the fact it's got a two wheel drive, it also has an awesome shovel, huge luggage back here where they have a big, uh, a big tire pump, an extremely extensive toolkit. So extensive, you could rebuild the entire bike with this toolkit. It's got a gas or water container. It's got the jockey shift right here. It also has a spotlight and one of the coolest features ever. This has the greatest kickstart I've ever seen on any motorcycle. It's just the most solid feeling kickstart. All right, so now you guys have seen how this thing does off-road. Let's see how it does on-road. All right, guys, let's take this thing for a test drive. But before we do it, let's do the words of wisdom. Luke 6, 28. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Amen. All right, so we got to fire this thing up. Turn the key. That's good. I love this kickstart. It's the best thing about this whole bike. Manliest feeling kickstart. All right, so we know how this thing does off-road. Let's try to get an idea of how it does on road. Ah, I got my pants all wet. So riding sidecar is completely different. 1,000% different. Not 1,000%. It's 80%. It's very different than riding a motorcycle. Now, of course, the functions and shifting and stuff like that, that's all there. Look at that deer. Look at that deer. Look at that deer. I'm going to chase him. No, I'm not going to chase him. So that's all there. But when it comes to turning, it's a 100, it's, it's a completely different beast. You can turn left as fast as you want to. You can turn right. You got to turn real slow unless you have some weight over in the sidecar. And what I learned was when you're turning right, it's best to lean, lean your body over here. And it makes it feel a whole lot, a whole lot more stable. Another thing is how, how the sidecar is prepped how it's actually set up and and um, there's actually a company I'm not sure what they're called but when you do a sidecar kit on your bike so there's just got the, this tilt so you can adjust the suspension depending on how it, it moves over here so right now it's pretty straight up but the bike could be sitting this way or a little over this way and they actually have it so you have a little button over here where you can adjust the tilt on the fly and this one guy was talking about how he's like I adjust mine a hundred times while I'm riding you know, depending on the road, depending on the, the, the way the road's sitting and the, and the camber and all, all these things, um, it is better to adjust it. So if you're on a road that's sitting more like this, you adjust it a little bit and, and, and you, you're going straight again. And that's actually kind of a game changer for in terms of how sidecars ride because right now it's everything's fixed and they set it up for one purpose and everything else just kind of, just got to kind of deal with it. 
Now the Euro by no means is a fast motorcycle. Um, I don't think I've gotten this thing past 55 miles an hour. And uh, you know, it felt okay, but it's just not made for that. Where it really shines is off-road. But you can definitely, you know, there's tons of people that have done you know, around the world trips and around uh, through Africa and and across Pennsylvania, across not Pennsylvania, across like the, the country uh, on these motorcycles. So they can definitely do it. It's kind of like everything else where a dirt bike is 100% great off-road. It kind of sucks on-road, but you could do it. This leans much more towards the off-road side of things. The way it's geared. Um, the bike feels pretty slow, feels pretty sluggish when you're, you know, trying to go, when you're 40, trying to go 50. But when you're two miles an hour, trying to go up the hill and trying to get to 10 miles an hour, it feels pretty impressive. Now, almost instantly, you're always grabbing for another, like, second or third gear that just, you know, like, two more gears that just aren't there, but that's just, that's just how the thing is. Now, when watching videos of people, um, you know, taking these things out, they almost never have a person in the sidecar. That's the best thing about the sidecar is you can run two people. And it makes this thing make more sense because the whole thing feels more stable. Especially when you're taking it off road or making turns. The cool thing about a bike like this, even though it, they're just known for being incredibly unreliable, is that you could ride a bike like this year round. In any, in any season, if you can see, if you can visibly see without a windshield, you could ride this bike. I would love to have this thing during the winter time and when it snows, this thing would just be perfect. Drifting, getting sideways. If I were gonna do that, what I would do is I would get sandbags and start loading them up inside here. Salt bags, that makes more sense. Load them up inside there, put about 200 pounds in the in the bag, and then I'd feel just I'd feel just as confident as I would driving a car. And I'd be having a whole lot more fun too. I don't know why another company has not tried to make something like this, but just made it more reliable. Why couldn't BMW take the R9T and make this the R9T, put a sidecar to it, and put a drive shaft to, to, to that thing? I mean, that would be amazing. That'd be one of like the best off-road vehicles ever. And it would look super, super cool. But no one's done it. I've seen some awesome versions of Urals where like French guys have, 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 have taken them and modified them and, and put really cool paint jobs on them and stuff. And they really, they it look like a, a work of art. Um, I love the military look. I love this. You don't feel bad about it. You don't feel bad about getting a scratch. You just... Do a couple sprays of the can and it looks even better. And obviously this, this looks better than just a spray can job. But uh let's do zero to six. Now here's another problem with this thing. It doesn't like fast shifting. It's just not made for that fast shifting action. Let's see if we can even get to 60. Bam, 60, kind of. All right, we're there. Now this doesn't feel horrible, but I'm not trying to do this for a long time. Maybe I would get used to it though. One of the coolest things about these things are people love them. People love them. If you want to make friends in a new neighborhood or your old neighborhood, buy one of these and it starts showing up the places. People will start flocking around you. Hey, if you want to, if you're trying to get a date with some girl, you roll on this thing. Just have an extra helmet. Just hop in. Or, better yet, just tell her to get on the back. And when I'm driving this, all I, all I want to do is just look out here and be like, I can drive over all this stuff. What am I wasting my time on the highway for? I could be driving up a tree or something. Guys, uh, as of right now, maybe. This bike should be available on SRK Cycles. We got a lot of bikes on SRK Cycles. If you guys are wondering a couple things. One, where I get these awesome gloves. Bikesandbeardsgear.com. Bikesandbeardsgear.com. We have these awesome gloves. We have a couple new limited editions coming out. 
And uh, that wraps it up, guys. I will see you guys later. Remember, it's not what you're riding. It's where you're going. See you guys next time.